Daily Readings Thursday of the Second Week in Lent From Psalms, Chapter 70 O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let my enemies be confounded and ashamed who seek my soul. Let them be turned backward and blush for shame who desire evils to me. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Grant, we beseech Thee, O Lord, the help of Thy grace, that duly applying ourselves to fasting and prayers, we may be delivered from the enemies of mind and body, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From Jeremiah chapter 17, Thus saith the Lord God, Cursed be the man who trusts in man, and makes flesh his arm, and whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a tamarack in the desert, and he shall not see when good shall come. But he shall dwell in dryness in the desert, in salt land, and not inhabited. Blessed be the man who trusts in the Lord, and the Lord shall be his confidence. And he shall be as a tree that is planted by the waters, that spreads out its roots towards moisture. And it shall not fear when the heat comes, for the leaf thereof shall be green. And in the time of drought it shall not be solicitous, neither shall it cease at any time to bring forth fruit. The heart is perverse above all things, and unsearchable. Who can know it? I am the Lord who search the heart and prove the reins, who give to everyone according to his way, and according to the fruit of his devices, saith the Lord Almighty. Thanks be to God. From Psalms chapter 79 Forgive us our sins, O Lord, lest the Gentiles should say, Where is their God? Help us, O God, our Savior, and for the honor of thy name, O Lord, deliver us. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16. At that time Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a certain rich man who used to clothe himself in purple and fine linens, and who feasted every day in splendid fashion. And there was also a certain poor man named Lazarus, who lay at his gates covered with sores and longing to be filled with the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sores. And it came to pass that the poor man died and was borne away by the angels into Abraham's bosom. But the rich man also died and was buried in hell. And lifting up his eyes, being in torments, he saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried out and said, Father Abraham, have pity on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said to him, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime hast received good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now here he is comforted, whereas thou art tormented. And besides all that, between us and you a great gulf is fixed, so that they who wish to pass over from this side to you cannot, and they cannot pass from your side to us. And he said, Then, Father, I beseech thee to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify to them, lest they too come into this place of torments. And Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hearken to them. But he answered, No, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. But he said to him, If they do not hearken to Moses and the prophets, they will not believe even if someone rises from the dead. Praise be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer over the people. Let us pray. Bow down your head before God. Give ear, O Lord, to thy servants when they implore thee, and grant them thy perpetual favor, that thou mayest gather and restore what they have lost, and preserve what thou hast restored to those in glory in thee, as their creator and guide, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.